Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Finchy Friday. Coming up in today's episode is how to get more bookings slash clients for your wedding business. If you're new to my channel, my name's Nick, wedding videographer slash video production company owner. Um, Due to COVID, I've even extended my services looking at website design and SEO. I release a video every week. Now it's on a Friday, so I just call it Finchy Fridays as my name's Nick Finch. Um, and I just share my knowledge of what I do um, with my business. Either that could be with business tips, um, kit that I have, how I edit stuff, um, just anything business related so it's not always to do with wedding videography it can be general wedding business as well and business in itself um, so today we're going to look at four ways that i get more wedding bookings slash clients these tips should help you even if you're new to weddings or you've been in the industry for many years um, these are sort of ongoing things that i do and did when i first started out filming weddings So number one is search engines. Um, and there's the free way of doing things and the paid. So with free, that will be work on your own SEO. So search engine optimization. You wanna be ranking on the first page, preferably number one. Um, number one does get more visitors uh, than two and three, um, but you wanna aim for at least, yeah, first page, then top three, then the number one spot. So I released, um, probably about four weeks ago, released part one, and there's three parts to it, all completed, on the basics of SEO. So if you want to try and rank it yourself, I would highly recommend going to that video now and watching it. Use YouTube as well as a search engine. It is owned by Google. Um, so you can rank for certain keywords and use the power of YouTube to appear in Google. That always works well. So it's easier if you are a wedding videographer because all the films that you do, you can um, put straight on onto YouTube. You should be doing that anyway, but you can rank for keywords as well. Um, if you're a general wedding supplier, you could film yourself doing a video. Uh, I did that the other week as I've had no videos to, to film, no weddings to film. Uh, I filmed myself as a wedding videographer talking about the services I offer. So you could always film yourself and rank that, that video. Uh, sort of linked to search engines is business directories. Um, and obviously hit the wedding industry ones. There's many out there. There's the one that I created. So if you are a UK wedding video, uh, wedding business, uh, check out weddinghive.co.uk. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, and these also help with your SEO when you're getting your backlinks as well. So, so, so it's a win-win there. And the majority of them are free. Um, there are paid for ones as well, or um, you might get the free accounts. And then there's like pl platinum features, which, which I do on my own website on, on Wedding Hive. So the free one, um, you still get to link your website on there as well. Um, but in if you're a platinum member, you um, get to create blogs and do a few other things as well that the free account can't. But if you don't want to wait months and months to rank your website to number one on Google in, in your certain keywords that you're going for, um, you can always pay for Google AdWords or, or Bing AdWords or whatever they call it. Uh, personally, I like to stick to Google. That's where I get the majority of my uh, website visitors from. Uh, that seems to be like the main, the main um, search engine um, that people like to use. But like I said, yeah, you can get Google AdWords that you pay per click, um, so you can rank above the organic search results. So you get three positions there. Um, so the more you pay, usually the better you are, are at the top. Um, or what you can do is just Google it. Um, Google have uh, vouchers all the time on promo codes where if you spend £25, they'll give you £75 credit. So it's always worth doing that. 
Number two is social media. You should be using social media all, all the time. Um, so again, there's the free way of doing it. So if you haven't already, get your Facebook page set up. Um, you should always have that for your business. So if you want to have an online presence, you should have your social media accounts, at least a Facebook, Instagram, get a YouTube, um, get your website set up. So um, you've got your online presence there. You, I recommend um, posting at least three times a week. Uh, this can also help with your SEO as well. Um, and at the moment, these, these stats can change. Wednesdays, about one o'clock, seems to be the best time to post a video. So I either do it a Tuesday, I definitely do a Wednesday. Um, try to do it either a Tuesday or a Thursday, and then I, I do one at the weekend as well. So some, sometimes I'm posting about five times a week. And I will do a similar post to my Facebook account and Instagram. And when you post on Facebook, um, share it as well to your personal page, add it to your story, just get your name out there because someone will see it, one of your friends might share it and you get bookings that way. And it does that works for me all the time. Another, another free way on social media is joining um, Facebook wedding groups. There's a million out there. Um, but you're not going to be the only supplier doing this. I see it all the time. So there's two ways you can go about this. You could either post yourself, obviously sticking to the rules of the group. Some groups are like only on Sunday you can post. Um, or reply to people. There's always someone looking for a wedding videographer. Um, but you've always, you'll have about a million comments on it. I used to always put... Oh, hi there. Yeah, congratulations on getting married. Please check out this. Now I just put my website link in or, and, and my Facebook page. Just put that in. Um, and to be honest, I found the harsher I have been with just putting links in, um, the more interest, inquiries and even bookings I have received. Now, there's also the paid way on social media. Um, so that's creating ads in Facebook that get displayed on both Facebook and Instagram. And one of the most important things is um, having your Facebook pixel installed on your website so that you can retarget ads. And I did a video last week prepping for this week in how to set that up. So if you haven't already, go watch it and set up um, your Facebook pixel because this is the one way I always retarget ads and get bookings. I've also done um, videos on these sort of smaller topics I'm talking about, so go check those out. Go back through my previous videos. Um, but this video is all about just a brief way I get more bookings. So I'm not going to go into the exact details on how to sign up to Google Ads and do that. I'm literally telling you sort of the theories, and then you can go and do all the practical side of everything. Number three, and this is how I get the majority of my bookings slash leads, I should really say, the leads of it, is wedding fairs. Obviously, with COVID, um, these have all been postponed or cancelled, um, but there are online wedding fairs you can do. Before COVID, at least twice a year, I attend the Welsh National Wedding Fair. Um, it is quite expensive. Um, but they literally get the numbers of brides to the events. Um, I've, I've gone to other, I've paid for other wedding fairs at smaller venues where they might be, they might be half or even quarter of the, the, um, the costing, but they literally get about 10 people through the door and about two of them chat to you and then none of them book you. So I find the bigger ones better. Um, and I'm going to sort of half link something here is to email marketing as well so and I have done a video on this before so with um, with the wedding fairs I always gather um, their email addresses and then I use MailChimp which again is free oh this is free um, to send out emails to uh, the brides and you know that generates more booking so you chat to them on the day and then you send them an email and also the wedding um, the venue who's doing setting up the fair should also supply you with a massive email list as well. So it's a win-win there. 
and you can use Facebook Pixel and retarget, well, Facebook retarget ads. So I've done a whole video on how I retarget ads um, using the data from MailChimp, so all the email addresses you've received. So the fourth and final way that I get more wedding bookings is recommendations slash word of mouth. And these will grow organically over time um, from both wedding suppliers and weddings that you filmed. Um, I get recommended by other photographers, happened a few weeks ago. Um, other general wedding suppliers such as florists, hairdressers, makeup artists. So if you are a wedding videographer, um, you know, in the morning when you're filming bride prep, get chatting to the hairstylist, the makeup girls or boys, um, the photographer, just build a good rapport with them. Um, and again, if you are just a wedding supplier, so if you are a, a florist or um, a makeup artist, hairdresser, you know, you'll be networking as well on the day with the photographer and videographer because we're the ones that will be sharing your wedding films or photos online and we can tag tag you tag you um and it's just nice to build that sort of relationship um uh, working relationship with other wedding suppliers and again um brides will be sharing your work uh recommending you so be i i'm a bit of a nice guy anyway um but you know i like to build a good rapport with the uh, the couple that I'm filming and hopefully and even their family members as well get chatting um, with guests you know they'll remember you they'll be like oh remember that video guy or like if they eventually get married um, they'll be going to the to that wedding that they remember you at, to, the, to the couple going oh who, who is your wedding videographer give, give me his name um, you know you will try and get as many inquiries as you can things that you might not get bookings is the person inquiry, inquiring might be, you might be out of their budget, busy on their date. There's many reasons why you might not get that actual booking, but you want to get as many inquiries as you can. So overall on how I use the four, the four ways I just said is pretty much the majority of them. I am ranking for number one spots for wedding videographer in South Wales. So I've just changed my business website. So I've got a whole new, brand new website that I've been ranking for. Um, so from a few months ago when I was literally non-existent, I'm now ranking number 12 with all the advice that I gave in my three-part series on SEO. Um, and I'm literally increasing daily. I could even be number 10 now on the first page. So um, that is one way. I always retarget, have a retarget Facebook ads running all the time. I, th I spend about two pound a day, which is nothing. Um, and I always get, I get at least a booking now a month. Um, so, you know, the, the deposit outweighs the cost of that ad. So I've always got a Facebook retarget ad going on. Um, and I also target, also have what I call a cold target on Facebook as well. Um, so I sort of, I run these maybe twice a week, um, two weeks out of every month, um, have one of these going on just to generate more leads to my website whilst I'm working on my SEO. Um, I'm, I'm in an online wedding fair with the Welsh National Wedding Fair at the moment. Um, been on that for a few months. And if we weren't in COVID, I would be attending wedding fairs. And again, I get recommended all the time. I had a photographer recommend me. Um, the other day and I made a booking for 2023 um, so that's nice I've already got a few dates sorted out for in a couple of years time um, so these these do work obviously if you're looking for instant results or just starting out do Google AdWords run some Facebook ads um, I post like I said social media I'm posting at least three times a week it is hard doing that now as we haven't really got the content to to make new content. But you know what? Go back to last year. Go through a wedding. Um, literally, I, I mentioned this in previous videos. One wedding that I film, I have, you know, you've got at least 20, at least 20 different um, social media posts you can do. Um, even recommend 
suppliers that's a post you know just just keep regularly submitting posts on facebook and instagram so if you haven't already smash the like button hit the subscribe i've got some great content coming out every week next week is going to be a video on audio i've done one of these previously but my audio gear changes all the time well not all the time but i've added to it now and i want to give a live demo on um each bit of equipment that I use and how I use it. Like I said, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.